do keep in mind as we get started, these readings are for a large general audience. So although I pray and prepare and ask that each of you receives at least one message, if you find that there are not any messages for you, that just means that they're not your messages this month. I would encourage you to then listen to your moon or your rising signs as you may find messages in those. So let's go ahead and see if March is going to be a month of luck for you, Capricorn. So your first two cards, this is the situation for you this month. Now you have the Queen of Wands and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, it says the Angel of Destiny. Now, this is the Lady of the Hearth. So she's very energetic, high energy, optimistic, courageous. She's like, she will take anything on. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So there are some changes, because it does say Angel of Destiny on the bottom. There are some changes that are divinely orchestrated that are going on in your life this month. And most of these changes are actually not within your control. They're out of your control. They're being led by God, Jesus, the angels, the divine, because it is time for them. And some of you are actually being called to take action because the Queen of Wands, she's someone that takes action. She makes things happen. Now, you are encouraged to be adaptable and So you have change, again changes, official person, main female. So you are this queen of wands. So you are encouraged this month while these changes are happening to be adaptable, be flexible, go with the changes because they are happening. This card is about, you know, these changes are gonna happen ready or not, like it or not, these changes, they're happening because they're destined, they're fated, they're meant to be. It is time for a change. You know that. And they're saying for most of you, you want these changes. Because for some of you, it's not just one change, it's multiple change. Multiple changes. Now you are being encouraged at this time to also focus on your goals, focus on the things that you desire to ensure a smooth transition. Some of you can be change of homes. Others of you, it's also a change of career. They are big changes. For some of you, it's multiple changes at once. So again, honing in on one, but this is the month of change for you. And for some of you, say, you know, it's a job. It, it's a job where you have felt restrained. You felt stuck, you felt trapped. You're like, I want out of this, I want out of here. And now the time has arrived. So, that's good stuff. Now, what has led you to this big moment of change? Hi, Miss Lexi. You gonna come join us? So my one dog, Lexi, she likes to, uh, she's so small, she can't even jump up on the chair. She likes to come up and stretch and stare at me until I focus back on you and then she'll come over and scratch my ankle. So let's see what she decides she's gonna do. So what has led to this moment, this peak of change? <laughs> you have the Four of Chalices, the Magician, the Hanged Man at the bottom, it says Angel of Prophecy. So, you know, if you see here, there is all this rain that is just pouring down. This card's actually, it's the Beating Rain card. But she looks miserable. See how unhappy she looks? And the windows kind of look like bars and a cross. So the situation that you have been stuck in has been a cross to bear. It has been a complete burden. You are not happy. You feel stagnated. You feel stuck. The situation that you have been in, you have been in out of habit for some of you. You're bored with it. You're ready to get out of it. So for some of you, if, if it's a job, you're bored of the job. You don't want to be in the job anymore. For the, some of you that it's a home, you're just like, oh, I want a new home. I don't, you know, tired of things leaking. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. I'm tired of always having to fix things. But then you've got the beginning. So you are ready for a new beginning. You are unhappy with where you are. Be at work, be at home, be at love. You're bored. You're stuck. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. You spend all your time daydreaming and hoping and wishing of, oh, man, if I could just get this other job, 
Ah, oh, if I could just get a new home. Man, if I could get that new lover, that new partner. Because it's just her and her cat. So for some of you, you know, you're not in a relationship. But you desire one. For those of you that's a relationship. But you want a new beginning. You are ready for a new beginning. You are poised for a new beginning now because you have spent this time, the hangman, you've spent this time contemplating, thinking about it, evaluating it. You have spent this time of limbo because for some of you, it's almost like you're kind of in between. Like for some of you, it's like you've started to leave something, but you're not quite in the new. You've had this time of reflection, incubation, where you've been thinking about your desires, contemplating what you want, contemplating what you would desire for some of you, what you would prefer. So now you're ready. You're ready to make it happen now. You're ready. And that's good because <laughs> God's ready too. They're saying the time has come. Uh, they're saying it's been put off long enough. So for some of you, you have not been happy for quite some time. And they just clinked on my window as confirmation. Okay. So you have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords. So these are your fears. So the Queen of Swords, she's like the Ice Queen. She hides her emotions. She's not going to give anything away. I mean, she even kind of looks mad. She's like not looking toward the future. She is looking toward the past with a bit of a glare on her face. She's like, mm -mm, no, nope, not today. Then you've got this card. Now this card is all about, you know, messages from heaven, divine communication, something that's surprising, shocking, suddenly comes in, a sudden change of events, things that suddenly occur. But the thing is putting you onto the defense because this Knight of Swords, that's, you know, the courageous warrior going out to battle, conflict, argument, strife. I mean, he's livid. Look at this guy. He is angry. He's fit to be tied. He's ready to battle. And then you have the Six of Swords and at the bottom it says resolution. But this can all be, also be a card of travel. It can also, it indicates things that are very difficult at the start, at the beginning. So for some of you, you have this new idea. You got this new idea, this new plan. For a number of you, it was a divine idea. It was a divine plan that just happened to come in. You were even surprised by it. You were like, what? God, you want me to, you want me to do what? No. Some of you, you weren't even showing your emotion because you're like, wow, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not happy with that. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Ooh, just knocked me off my pedestal. I don't, I don't know. Some of you, you're afraid that when you share this idea with someone else, they're not going to be happy. You're afraid it'll start an argument. It'll start conflict. It'll be a big problem. Some of you, this is also saying that you have fought this change out of fear that it's going to be too difficult, that it'll be so uncomfortable and so hard and you're not going to have the help to do it, and that you're going to need someone's help, but they're not going to be there for you to help you. Because some of you, you fear that you're not going to get the help. You're not going to get the assistance you need. Because for some of you, it really is a huge undertaking. I mean, my gosh, if you're changing jobs and moving residences, there's a lot to do at once. You're going to need some help. And you're concerned that it won't be there. And for some of you, there is something tied to these changes. There's been a lot of arguments. So maybe for some of you, it is a relationship that's um, breaking up and there's been issues and arguments because and, you're like, I'm ready for a new home, ready to go into a new direction. And they've not been happy with that. So there's been a lot of, a lot of battles. 
Now, as far as what the angels are recommending for you, actually, let me look at this. Okay. The stack of cards I'm looking at right now are the cards that are on the bottoms of the decks. Okay. So, first off, these are the recommendations, but they do want you to remember that you've got this, you can handle this, you are fine, you don't even need the help that you seem to think that you need. The problem is you're so uncertain about the future. You don't know. You're uncertain about how this idea of yours is going to turn out. You're fearful it's going to cause loss, but for some of you, this idea and this new beginning fresh start is actually stemming because of loss. But allowing that loss to fall away while moving forward into that new idea, that new beginning, that fresh start, you just need to trust. They're saying that this is, it is a choice that you are making to head into this new direction. But if you can trust, if you can go in that new direction, you will be blessed. You will have victory. And they're also saying that you'll finally be breaking free of this drama and conflict that you've been in. So for some of you, maybe, you know, it's the job that you're changing. Maybe you sit and you argue with your boss all the time. You're like, I am miserable here. I can't stand this anymore. Well, if you make the choice to move down the new path, you won't have to deal with that any longer. You won't feel stuck. You won't feel suppressed. It does require you to take a leap of faith, however, and they want you to know you are supported. You've got a whole lot of support. Now, for some of you, this change is not easy because it is, for some, stemming from loss. So they are encouraging you to have a good cry. So this card says you need a good fucking cry. On the back it says, get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. So for those of you that these new beginnings are because of a loss, it's okay, mourn the loss, cry. Get mascara everywhere. Go on ahead, fill up some tissues. Because once you've had a good cry, you can begin to heal. And then you can move forward with confidence. They're encouraging you in March to move forward with confidence. That project, that person, that idea is waiting. Go after that shit. The world has your back. It's time to move forward. It's time to let the old go. It's time to let go of the things that are making you miserable, keeping you stuck, making you unhappy. And they're encouraging you to do that this month. Trust all the signs, the synchronicities, the messages that they're giving you. They're giving you all types of messages. They're trying to bring your life back into balance, they're saying. Because for a number of you, you've been in this state for far too long. Unhappy with where you're at. Miserable with how things are going. Wanting to break free. Not wanting to be there anymore. Life has been out of balance for you emotionally. For some of you financially as well but they're trying to bring you back into balance. For them to bring you back into balance, it does require some effort on your part. So they're encouraging you, trust the signs, trust the synchronicity, trust everything that they're showing you. Go after it, go for it, do it. Do so fearlessly. They're also encouraging you, you have hydration. At the bottom it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health Energy and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day. They're encouraging you to get near some water, a body of water. Because for some of you, you are so stressed and so worried about how things are going to turn out that it's, it's causing some blocks to that divine guidance and divine information that they're trying to give you. Interesting thing is when you're near about a, a body of water, of course the ocean is ideal, but not all of us can get to the ocean right away. So if you can't do that, go near a pool, a lake, a river. Worst case scenario, if you're stuck up in Canada and you are getting pounded by snow right now, go soak in the tub, do an Epsom salt bath because that's going to clear things. Getting near water, getting in water is going to energetically clear things. It will open up the divine channel so you'll be able to get more guidance so that you can trust that guidance and so you can move forward. It's all about moving forward this month for you, Capricorn. And just move forward with trust, optimism, joy, they're encouraging some of you to just clown around, they're saying, have some fun. That's going to lift you up, lift your spirits up, because some of you are kind of feeling down in the dumps. So have some fun this month. 
It's going to help you with your transition. Now, your outcome for the month of March. You have Seven of Wands and Six of Cups. And at the bottom it says Support. Now, this card, you know, it's it's overcoming obstacles, being on the defense, putting up a defense, putting up a wall, putting up a barrier. And then you have support, but this is also karma. So you know how they say for some of you, these changes are coming about because of a loss. Like you're trying to keep the dam from breaking. You're doing everything you can to, to keep it from falling apart. So for some of you, For some of you, this is a fear of losing a support structure. Why are you losing a support structure? What? see all those oh my goodness they all fit that is amazing okay good which interestingly you've got five cards five is all about change so you have imprisonment community despair main male pathway so for some of you that really want a job I'm not saying you're all gonna lose your job but there could in fact be a loss of job that will put you on this new path, which you really want. You, you don't want to be at your job anymore. You've been thinking about it. You just haven't had the courage to take that leap of faith, which is why divine intervention is coming in this month to say, you know what? We've tried to show you. We've tried to help you break free of this. You've not wanted to do it. So now we're going to just help you do that. We're going to go ahead and remove the job that's toxic, that makes you miserable, maybe with this horrible boss. And now we're going to just help you help yourself get a new job now. That may only be applicable for a couple of you. Now, for others of you, because community, that can be you, it can be family, it can be friends, it can be coworkers, it's, you know, like-minded people, support. But regardless of your situation, because again, it's, it's a general reading, you have felt stuck. You have felt imprisoned in this situation, just like they were saying earlier. I mean, this looks like a prison cell. This is a cross. You had this cross to bear. You're like, oh my gosh, how did I get stuck here? So for some of you in March, you're going to be breaking free because this dam, this dam's going to break. It's going to burst down. Some of you, it's going to burst down because you've, you've just re reached this point of emotional exhaustion. You're just like, I can't do anymore. I am beaten down by the stress. Some of you, you're beaten down by the stress that this man has caused you. And you're like, I'm done. I'm done with him. And some of you, this, this person, this male, he's actually been your support, which is, interesting because he's also been a clutch so he's been your support maybe he's been part of your family and, and group and and now it's like you're breaking free of him for some of you he may be leaving and that's why you're worried because you're like oh my gosh I need his help whose help am I going to have I need assistance I need support but they're telling you to not fret to not worry because for some of you, this person that's leaving, there was a karmic, a karmic lesson, a balance that was paid in full. Your dues were paid, the lesson was learned, off he goes. But you don't have to worry because you have an entire tribe that's there to help you. You don't need this person's help. You don't need to be stressing that they're not there to help you either. Because you're going down a new path where you will have help. You will have the assistance you need. You will have the support you need. But regardless of the situation, because again, it's a general reading and they are saying it's a lot of changes for you. Could be smaller changes, but for most of you, these are big changes. These are changing residents. It could be leaving a partner could be leaving a business partner. This is career changes. These are moving, just getting a different home. These are big things. But the reason 
you are going to be having most of you not to cause any fear because they're saying to not be fearful because those of you that are about to go through these big changes you have wanted these changes you desire these changes but because you have been fearful to take that leap of faith on your own you've been fearful to put your resume out you've been fearful to leave this person who's just not good for you not good news just because you're holding on to them for money or financial help whatever you've been fearful of taking that leap of faith for some of you, they're saying for months. For some of you, they even say it could be one to two years that you've been wanting to have this change. Literally, one to two years. But you've been so fearful of taking that leap of faith that God's just stepping in this month and saying, you know what? We're just going to take that away from you right now. We're going to leave you with no option but to go down this new path. Because we know it's what's going to make you happy. We know it's going to turn out amazing. We know you're not going to be stuck on your own. We know you're going to have all the help you need to make these changes. We know that these changes are in fact blessings. Where's that little card? Dun, dun, dun. We know that through this loss, you will in fact be having victory. You will be having success. You will get the things that you desire, that you've been wanting, that you've been thinking about. But since those of you that this message is for, since you've needed some assistance, some courage, some motivation, they're saying, sometimes we need the right motivation. You know, sometimes God will just keep turn up the heat, turn up the heat, turn up the heat, because God's trying to get us to do a change. And for a number of you, this was a karmic thing that had to end, a karmic cycle, a karmic change. You know, maybe you paid your dues at that job. You don't need to be there any longer. It's toxic. You want it out. But even though God kept giving you signs, it's time, it's time, it's time, it's time to change. Put your resume out there. Get out there. Why are you stuck in this prison? But because we're creatures of habit, I mean, you'll find most of us, we'll go to a restaurant, we'll stick with the same entree over time because, oh, we can't step out of our norm. Well, since there was the lack of the courage to do that, God's coming in and helping you with some of it, motivation this month. But they don't want you to fear it. Because although blessings are coming through loss, these are the blessings you've been praying for. These are the changes you've been praying for. And there will be success. So they're telling you to not worry, not fear. See how beautiful this is? And as you are making these changes, you will have plenty of help. You see, they're not building this barricade. They're not building up the defenses alone. They're a team. <laughs>